the first into the seventh verse. But I'm going to explain all of it. Amen. Joshua 2, 1 through 24. Reads like this. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shittim two men to, to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into a harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hitherto night of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thine house. So they be come to search out all the country. And the woman took two men and hid them and said thus, They came men unto me, but I went not whence they were. And it came to pass about the time of shutting up the gate, when it was dark, that the men went out, whither the men were, went, I will not pursue them quickly. For you shall overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house. And hid them with the stalks of flax. Which she laid it on order upon the roof. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan unto the fords. And as, as they put, which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. If I was to leave a subject this morning, it would be God's going to do it. Amen. God's going to do it. Amen. I'm going to encourage the women on today. Amen. Because this day was set aside for Mother's Day. Amen. And I want to tell you a story of Rahab. She was a harlot who turned to a heroin. By God's grace, nobody can change a harlot into a heroin, meaning a hero. Her great ideal to help them escape, hallelujah, from Jericho, and for Israel to overtake the city, hallelujah, the spies agreed to protect her and her family, hallelujah, from the king. Now, the woman was a young woman who was a prostitute. All right. And uh, she was labeled a bad woman. All right. Why God would speak to her or want to help her to help him with the walls of Jericho, hmm. I do not know. Come on, with it. All right. But he talked to this harlot, hallelujah, mm -hmm. who lived in the city of Jericho. Now, Jericho was a large Canaanite fortress city. Uh -huh. Fortress mean it was surrounded by a wall. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. So, something like Germany. Surrounded by a wall. You know the Russians had a wall. Yep. Fortress, it was surrounded by a wall, Jericho. And it was direct, directly in the path of the Israelites. They had to go across Jericho. God's chosen people was Israelites who had just crossed the Jordan River before proce proceeding into battle. Joshua and Caleb were the two spies who went into the city of Jericho. Uh -huh. 
and he knocked on Rahab's door. Now Rahab lived right on the outskirts of Jericho. Hallelujah. Amen. Where all the poor people resided. Okay. And Rahab answered the door and the two spies said, we are the Israelites. Can we come in? Now God had already talked to Rahab's heart. So she proceeded to let them in. Amen. Hallelujah. And the spies began to tell her, hallelujah, where they were from and what they wanted to do Amen. to take over Jericho. Mm -hmm. And she didn't tell them what the Lord had said. She said, well, I'm going to hide you on top of my roof. Because I have some loose flax up there. It's coming apart, my roof. So you can let the flask cover you. So she began to show them where she was going to hide them underneath the roof. Put the flask on them so the spies wouldn't be able to see them in her house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jericho Walls Rehab was known Hallelujah, for, for to being a prostitute. And, and, and so when the strangers came into her establishment, hallelujah, they knew what she was doing, hallelujah, because it was a tavern. And, and, and they knew exactly what a tavern was, hallelujah. It was for many men to come in and lay with who they wanted to lay with. Yes, but yes. Um, not only was she the prostitute, she was a smart woman. Mm -hmm. And she realized hallelujah, what the men that, that are, were spies were up to. Mm -hmm. And so she was prepared to do what God had put in her heart. And how many knows that God not judges you by your outward appearance? God judges your heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since the Egyptians, hallelujah, had already defeated, hallelujah, the Egypts in the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. She had heard about that. And so when Rahab, hallelujah, made her decision to, to take the two spies and, and hide them, she was well aware of what the Israelites were capable of. And, and Jericho, the, the king of Jericho, they feared the Israelites. Hallelujah, because of the, the way that God illustrated himself for the chosen people. So Rahab hid the two spies on the top of the roof, hallelujah, underneath the bundle of flesh. And when the soldiers arrived to look for the spies, they could not find them anywhere. Yeah. They looked all in the house, looked all outside the house, went through Jericho. They could not find the spies anywhere. Come on, Bishop. Hallelujah. And, and when they left, Rahab instructed the spies. Now, they're going to look for you for three days. So you should leave before the gate closes. Hallelujah. Go into the mountains. And they won't be able to see you. And you stay there for three days. Then you come out and you attack. Yeah. Mm. Under her instructions, hallelujah, yeah. she said to the spies, now, I hid you in my house and they did not find you. Now, what you going to do for me? <laughs> and Joshua and Caleb said, well, what do you want? Come on. I want you to save me mm. and my whole house. Come on, Peter. I don't want no money. I don't want no, no jewelry. I want salvation. Oh. I want you to save me. Hallelujah. And my house. Yeah. How many know a mother will do anything for her family? Yeah. Hallelujah. Rahab, hallelujah, was already taking care of her father. Mm -hmm. he, she was already taking care of her mother. She was already taking care of sisters and brothers. Hallelujah. But she wanted, hallelujah, something for herself. Yeah. 
She wanted God to save her. She knew what she was doing. She was laying on her back to support her family. But God wasn't looking, hallelujah, about her laying on her back. God wasn't stuttering what she had done. Hallelujah. God was looking for what she was going to do. How I many know when people count you out? When keep people count these mothers out? Hallelujah. Because they're not marrying their single mothers. Hallelujah. Having a child out of wedlock. Everybody's labeling them as being a whore. Hallelujah. It's being a holler. Hallelujah. But how many know God can turn a holler into a heron? He can make you a hero like he did Rahab. Hallelujah. Rahab began, hallelujah, to save the people. And Joshua and Caleb told her, take that string that you had when you helped us. Hallelujah. Put that outside your window. Hallelujah. And when they come to attack the city of Jericho, Uh your house will be spared because we will see the red scarlet street. How many know that God will leave you and escape? How many know the mothers are sometimes no food in the house? Hallelujah. How many know that sometimes you don't have no money to pay your rent or mortgage? Hallelujah. You can't see your way. Hallelujah. But God will speak to your heart. Hallelujah. And tell you, hallelujah, to get on your knees and pray. Hallelujah. Tell you to give your last dime in the offering. Hallelujah. And God will make a way. Hallelujah. If you plant that seed, hallelujah, it will grow. How many know that rehab? Rahab, hallelujah, obeyed God. She told them just where the lady had. Hallelujah, go up on my roof. Hallelujah, and go up under my bandondo of flax. Hallelujah, cover yourself up. Hallelujah, they won't be able to find you. Hallelujah, Rahab was obedient to God. Hallelujah, if you find yourself just obeying God, you'll find your situation change. You'll find that your circumstances will change. Hallelujah, if you take time out to obey God, he will not only save your family, he will save you. Hallelujah. And when Rahab, hallelujah, begins, hallelujah, to to realize what God had done, he had took the Israelites, hallelujah, and let them come into the city of Jericho. Hallelujah. And did they, did you know that they conquered Jericho city. They conquered the city and conquered the king. Hallelujah. And God prevailed. Hallelujah. And it goes to tell me, hallelujah, that Rahab family was spared. Everybody was destroyed. Everybody was murdered and killed. Hallelujah. Everybody was gone except for the family of Rahab. And don't you know she stayed with the Israelites and she ended up marrying Solomon, who was an Israelite, a son of Judah. Hallelujah. And when Rahab married Solomon, Solomon was Boaz's son. Hallelujah. The son of Ruth. The mother of Ruth. And don't you know her legacy, her great, her great, her great, her great, great grandfather is Jesus. A holla, hallelujah, a whore, hallelujah, was saved by grace, hallelujah. She was saved, the people of Israel, just like God spoke to Deborah to save 450 prophets of Baal, sent Deborah to warn the prophet Elijah. Hallelujah. Don't you know God is warning? Day. He's using a uh, 
because God can use them. When men say no, God says yes. God has a reason why he does everything. We don't know, but God knows. He surely does. Because if Deborah had not warned Elijah, because Elijah was running scared, he ran all the way to a cave. He didn't want no pies of Jezebel. She was a bad woman. She destroyed 450 prophets by just laying with them. They was all dizzy. They couldn't see the word of God no more. Couldn't see the word of God anymore. But prophet Elijah had to go down and destroy them prophets. Yes, he did. He went down and destroyed them. And Rahab let the spies in and they took over Jericho. They didn't care nothing about that wall. That wall couldn't stop them. The wall that you have built up in your life can't stop God from delivering you. A lot of us put up walls of suicide, depression. A lot of us put up walls of rejection from God. But God's going to bring that wall down. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to bring it down. So you mothers, don't count yourself out. Thank God you're alive. And you brought your family to church. Hallelujah. That your family saved. Hallelujah. And they're and they on the right road now. Amen. Hallelujah. They're on the right road now. That's what you got to thank God for. Yeah, yeah. That you introduced them to God. Yeah. Had you not introduced them to God, had you not been their mother, they wouldn't know God. Amen. They wouldn't have any idea. That'd be like somebody else born in a family that's not of God, yeah. waiting for somebody to come along and tell them about Jesus. Amen. So you ought to be glad and thank God Hallelujah. that you know Jesus. Because he's a lifter of your head. You ought to be glad that your mother knows Jesus. And that she introduced Jesus to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Because Rahab has a legacy. Hallelujah. Of being the granddaughter of Jesus Christ. Amen. Only God can do it. That's it. Only God's going to do it. Hallelujah. He'll let you live, live, live. Yes. Everybody strengthen the Lord. Amen. Amen.